Well, hi Ginger, just going to back through um, what we did on the telephone, so using your hyperfont. So here goes, I've got a new hoop on the screen. I'm going straight to my um, hyperfont, saying next, and we wanted Batman, Batman Brody, and then I'm coming down here to select my font, and I'm going to type in B-A-T, <clears throat> excuse me and here we have Batman and I said to go regular up here that may be something that you may not have heard me say and then OK and then next on fill stitch and finish so there it's put the Batman on screen and for me because the last thing I did um, was a single line I have to come here um, and open it up so I can see more than one line and the next thing that I'm going to do is height we change to 8 and the spacing we manually typed in 0 0.20 and I'm trying to think what else we did okay um, we went to embroidery settings and these are the settings that I have density 3, there's the fill underlay density, the stretch is on 10 fill edge warp and stretch is checked, short stitch is, is checked and then on stitch type come down the, the, the list here to step pattern and in step pattern Come here to the word catalogue to open the catalogue up and then if I can find it, it was this one 22. So I'm going to double click that and we're on maximum 60, distance 60, and I'm going to apply that. And once I've applied it, I'm going to come up here to stitch it. Unlike yours, it takes a time to do. I'm going to close this box. I'm going to center the design. I'm going to view it in realistic view. And then I'm going to zoom in to 200%. And there you go. That's um, what I've got on my screen. The only difference I can and see is if um, you had like a different pattern and if you want to change the patterns click any of the letters it, or numbers it doesn't matter come back up here to outline edit click the A for um, going back into the editing screen design embroidery settings stitch type and go back into your catalogue and then maybe pick um, another one, I think the other one that I had on first was 11, this one apply that and after you've applied it, stitched it close this box and again design, center design so I think with this it's just going to be down to which pattern that you that you choose um, click the letter again go back into the embroidery setting stitch type catalog and is another one 39 and apply that and each one of these will have a different effect on what it's going to look like that's pretty spivvy um, Let's stitch that and design center design. But you can see that that's taken it up to 21,000 stitches, like you had the um, if I undo and undo that second one, there was 15,000 stitches. 
if I undo oh no stitches <laughs> so I, I undid it back to back to nothing there <laughs> and a redo so there we have center design so let's see if there's any differences there and whatever fill pattern you choose it will affect the, the stitch count there so I hope that helps and um, let me know